A very important aspect of a, a production process is that we don't have contamination of the product being processed. The product being processed could be food, could be pharmaceutical, could be, could be anything really. And we don't want pieces of metal in that product. This valve has been fitted with a, a sensor system that will give a signal if we get metal to metal contact whilst the valve is in process. The valve has been constructed with hybrid ceramic bearings. In effect, the rotor has been completely isolated from the valve body. That means when we use this sensor, which is connected to the rotor, and we get a metal to metal contact between the rotor and the body or the end cover, we will get a signal and we will know that something has happened in the process that shouldn't have happened and that we have got a potential contamination of the batch we are processing. It enables you to reduce the amount of product that has got a possible contamination and to identify where the problem is. To demonstrate what I mean about the rotor being isolated, we've made a mock-up of an actual situation. Normally this would be connected to a control system, will give you an alarm and will shut down the process straight away or do what you want it to do with the signal, maybe just warn you that you go and look, but you will get the notification that something has gone wrong. If you look here at this light and we make contact between the rotor and the body, you will see that the light goes on. That is to illustrate that the rotor is completely isolated and only when the rotor comes into contact with the bore or the end cover, we will get the signal. We have to be careful with conductive powders. We have to be careful with foreign materials going through the valve. They could give an alarm when there is no alarm. So the time elapsed between signaling a metal to metal contact to actually giving the alarm should be two to three seconds. If it's shorter than that, we should not get an alarm.